or what are some of the most common questions and topics that people are approaching the ESC with that practitioners have in regard to their patients and the outbreak itself? It varies, uh, you know, there are uh, most of the questions focus on uh, the use of uh, commonly uh, employed uh, cardiovascular drugs such as angiotensin receptor blocker and ACE inhibitors because of possible interaction with ACE2, uh, which forms as a cell receptor for the virus. There have been several hypotheses being published by journals that have been picked up by the lay press and have scared a lot of patients. So I would say that I receive uh, every day emails from patients saying, I want to stop. Uh, because I've read that is dangerous and I'm going to have uh, a worse infection. And this is really a plea to journals and authors to maybe refrain a little bit from publishing their hypothesis at the moment because the impact that that has on uh, uh, you know, the work of clinicians that are already dealing with uh, uh, these problems, uh, uh, you know, they're already uh, working on the strain is quite significant. So, you know, and in any case, one should not swap a, uh, a known benefit, uh, a well-established benefit for a hypothetical uh, adverse effect on, on, on an infection uh, that may or may not happen. So that, that is uh, uh, one of the most common questions. The other uh, most common questions is that people are absolutely desperate to have uh, a, a treatment uh, that is uh, proven to be uh, effective in managing these patients. And uh, at the moment, uh, there is none. And so there is huge variability across Europe, and I'm sure not just across Europe, on how these patients are treated. Um, you know, if there is a single educational intervention that we should uh, 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 really do uh, uh, in, in cardiology at the moment is really the encouragement to randomize. Because unless we do so, uh, we will never know whether we are, what we're doing is beneficial or not. 